in the world I fitted in. Um, drinking a lot more, um, get myself in meaningless fights. I don't know what that was about. Um, not really paying much attention to my wife, my children. Yeah, so it got really hard. And then eventually I ended up in prison where I did 23 years. One day I got called down the chapel and uh, they said there's a, some people coming in called Care After Combat. Um, they help ex-forces, especially those who are getting out of the prison system. So it's just another organisation saying they want to do this, want to do that, and nothing ever materialises. So I thought I'd give it a go, I'll, I'll have a look what's going on, and that's what I did. And um, we got chatting more, I opened up a little bit more, and that was probably four and a half years ago. And I've stayed with Care After Combat ever since. Because they said, they did what they said, they give us the help. We just provide that, what we call that, wraparound service, yeah. I think, for want of a better term. Um, so we are there at the end of a telephone. You know, we will meet up for a couple, we'll have a laugh, we'll chat, you know, we'll, absolutely, you know, mental health and is, 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 you know, is a key, key part of it, but there's other things that you need to get right as well. Very good at bottling things up. Uh, and that is a problem because you've got that, uh, you know, I'm ex-army, I'm, I'm a man. I don't show my emotions, I just pick myself up, I don't care what's going on for me, but it starts to affect you after time. And work care after come back, come in, because we don't let it out. And work care after come back, come in is, when you start talking to them, you realise that you can open up. You can say, you know what, I'm feeling like this, and this is really, I'm feeling like this, and I'm worried about this, I'm worried about that. And, so, and it, it just makes life easier.